There are basically two common glaucoma surgeries uh, that we have available today. Uh, once medications and lasers have failed, uh, incisional surgery is oftentimes necessary. The mainstay is trabecul trabeculectomy. Uh, trabeculectomies have been done for over 50 years we, where we basically make a small opening in the wall of the eye uh, that's covered with the skin of the eye, the conjunctiva. Patients wind up with a small blister under their eyelid, but it's not a painful procedure and there's no pain afterwards. This allows the pressure to build up outside of the eye rather than inside of the eye where it causes its damage. A related procedure involves uh, similar surgery except the tube is placed uh, in the opening. The tube then drains to a drainage plate that again is lift, uh, placed under the eyelid. Uh, patients generally uh, don't have a lot of pain from the surgery uh, and generally do uh, very well. Recently there uh, have been some more less invasive procedures available that involve less surgery and possibly less risk during the surgery. These include non-invasive techniques that are done uh, at the time of cataract surgery, the newest being a small little stent or implant where a little stainless steel tube is placed in the drain part of the eye to facilitate drainage. Early results from these are promising, uh, but more work is needed for us to know if these are going to become the new mainstay. Patients who wind up needing glaucoma surgery are usually those whose glaucoma is progressing despite the use of uh, medicines and laser. Uh, one of the things we continue to follow is the progress of your optic nerve and your visual fields. Should we feel that those are worsening uh, despite the pressure being uh, suboptimally controlled, uh, we perform surgery to lower the pressure. Uh, glaucoma surgeries are performed in an operating room, uh, majority of which today are done in outpatient surgery facilities uh, or done at the outpatient department of the hospital. Patients uh, do not spend time in the hospital, or they do not stay overnight in the hospital any longer. Recovery from glaucoma surgery is a little longer than many other uh, ophthalmological procedures. Cataract surgery today is so easy, patients often bounce back within a few days. Glaucoma surgery, the recuperation is a little longer, sometimes a month or even a little longer. But once the recovery process is complete, um, patients do quite well. Early on in the recovery, you might be at your doctor's every other day to monitor the pressure because sometimes too much is coming out, sometimes too little is coming out, and these uh, events need to be monitored closely. Uh, in addition, patients usually find that they have a decrease in their vision slight, slightly after the surgery. Uh, with time, this generally comes back to normal. Risks with glaucoma surgery are similar for all surgeries. The big two are uh, risk of bleeding and infection. Uh, we take great pains with both of these. Uh, infection, generally you'll be using antibiotic drops. That's one of the reasons why surgeries are performed in an operating room in a sterile environment. Bleeding as well is a, a complication, not that you'll bleed to death as you might with open heart surgery, uh, but bleeding can affect the results of the surgery and can damage the gentle uh, eye tissues. These luckily are extremely rare, probably less than one in 10,000, um, but they do occur. You can find out more information about glaucoma surgery, uh, certainly from me and from our website. Uh, in addition, there's good information at the American Academy of Ophthalmology at aao.org, uh, as well as uh, Glaucoma Foundation at glaucoma.org.